Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Pisces who are watching. So if you have Pisces as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Pisces, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart, Pisces, is your person. That's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you here specifically. And if it is not Pisces, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Pisces, let's officially get into your reading and your energy. Can we please receive a couple messages for my Pisces, please, when it comes to love here? Who is this person that is pursuing Pisces? And how do they truly feel? One more message for now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Very first message, personal message for you is you're a beauty. You don't even have to try. You're a beauty. You don't even have to try. We also have, I'm so attracted to you and your energy. Online dating, online dating, I love you more than you know. Next, nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you. Love me if you want to, not because you have to. Last but not least for now, us taking it slow, is this good or bad? So Pisces, this could be someone you've known for some time but for some of my Pisces I feel like this is a new person coming into your life we'll start with online dating that could be a prevalent factor perhaps you two met via social media or through similar interests similar friends maybe um or um a place that was specified for dating but we have online dating here so that could resonate for some of my Pisces as far as the platforms where the platform that you and this person reached out or started to get to know one another we have i'm so attracted to you and your energy and your beauty you don't even have to try so i feel like this is how this person feels towards you pisces and you may or may not believe in love at first sight but how i like to describe love at first sight in a way is and it could be towards a towards a um a environment uh, opportunity doesn't doesn't always have to be a person Pisces but when you're with someone or when you're in a specific environment and it just feels at home or with a person it's like you you come into contact with someone and not only are they physically attractive but you could just tell by their energy and you could leave looks out of it, Pisces, but your energy being beautiful and just knowing that or hoping that something will take off from it. And from there, you two start to develop this connection here. So I'm so attracted to you and your energy. This person's energy, you could definitely feel the same way. And your beauty, beauty you don't even have to try. Let's go ahead and get into nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you. So I don't feel like this is towards this new person here, Pisces. I feel like this is towards the experiences of just getting to know people, creating fun, memorable memories with them. And unfortunately, you and this person isn't as close as you once were or the connection, the relationship fades away or it ends here. So I feel like for you, Pisces, you're trying to, you may be like focused in the present moment, but also focus on the future, like what will take place and even a bit focused on the past because it's like, you know, the feelings that you enjoyed in the past 
when it comes to romantic con connections, but you also know the emotions or the feelings that w didn't feel good. And then you face these feelings now in the present with this person, they make you feel good, but then it's like, will it, will it last in the future? So of course, Pisces, please only take what you like and what resonates for you, but maybe focusing on the present is is or it's the best you can do because that's what you control right now or can control right now so nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you and it's like if this person isn't true you would hope that they be mature about it and don't proceed further with you love me if you want to not because you have to i don't want to feel like i'm dragging you along at any point i don't want to feel like i'm doing all the work like i'm a bother so Definitely not come and go as you please, but only come if your intention is to stay. Then we have I love you, or let's get into that next. We have us taking it slow. Is this good or bad? As I like to say, or like another message I do have in my decks, it's why rush when I'm enjoying the process? So I feel like this person just wants to enjoy the moment with you, Pisces. That doesn't mean that they don't have plans moving forward for the both of you, but their intention is not for you to overthink it if that's what you're doing. And we have, I love you more than you know. So <laughs> Pisces, um, you could replace love with I like you, I'm interested in you, um, but I, I feel like, and hopefully, I, I do hope this resonates, but this person, they, they show up, they're present, and they may beat the odds, Pisces, of, oh, like, someone actually backs up their words with their actions, someone actually not wants to get to know me, but someone is making a true, sincere effort to get to know me, so I feel like, if this person is treating you well, if they're showing up for you, not only don't overthink it, but those are those are all great signs unless they show you red flags or something, Pisces. But sometimes us as people, we can tend to self-sabotage, but know what you're deserving of, Pisces, and don't believe it's too good to be true. All right, Pisces, so let's get into it. We do have losing your love was not worth it. Then we have, I make time for those I like and love. You are one of those people. Last but not least, I'm sorry for wasting time. I'm not sure what I want or need. So as you can see here, two of these cards or messages, messages, um, do a 180 on this energy so of course please only take what resonates for you i feel like love me if you want to not because you have to and nostalgia is hard to face when it comes to you although these may be past energies it's they're energies that you want to avoid like only like i said come in if you're here to stay also what i feel like you're trying to avoid here i'm sorry for wasting time i'm not sure what i want or need Sometimes people recognize like, oh, I'm, I like spending time with Pisces. I, I like being around them. Pisces is a good person. They're a fun person, but they'll, they'll still just be there for their own intentions and their intentions may differ from yours. So this could be another energy you're trying to avoid with this person for some of my Pisces. Maybe this energy did make its way. So I'm sorry for wasting time. I'm not sure what I want or need. Like someone went back on their words or stopped doing what they used to do in order to reassure you. Losing your love is not worth it. You may have people from the past come back to you, Pisces, wanting a second chance, wanting to do better. But that type of energy can pull you in and make you go through past experiences that are not the present because your heart was involved. So it's like another energy you want to avoid, like things ended for whatever reason, but I don't want to hear that. 
because one, I know that it wasn't worth it. Or even two, if you, if you, if that's not a response of yours, Pisces, it's like, the, let's leave the past in the past because I cared so much. I, I don't want to think about it again, or I'm trying my best not to. And then we have, I make time for those I like and love. You're one of those people. So if this has been a positive reading for you, Pisces, I do feel like this is this person's energy and both of you are making time for one another. And like I said, I feel like this reading will, re or you'll know if this reading resonates for you, if this person is prompt, if they're present, if they're communicative, they go about things in a mature way here. All right, Pisces. So first sign is Scorpio. Could be done with Scorpio. We also have Capricorn, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Leo. All right. So Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love here and the support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.